Hi guys, now we got uh, Ed, uh, he's a new uh, vlogger and uh, he's from um, uh, P Pennsylvania and uh, he's uh, moved to the Philippines, um, maybe uh, permanently but uh, he, he may have to go back uh, he's, uh, to sort a few things out but uh, he will be uh, eventually moving permanently to uh, the Philippines, is, is that right Ed? How are you going by the way? Yeah, hello. Thank you uh, for the invite. That's cool. Whereabouts are you? Excuse me? Where are you now? Uh, I'm in uh, Metro Manila. Yep. Green Hills area. Yep. That's a pretty nice upmarket area. Yeah, I like it. It's uh, safe, pretty clean. It's got access to most of the stuff around the area. It's like right in the middle of everything. Yep. Yep. And Joseph is your middle name, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So the name of your site is Joseph, uh, but Ed is your real as your first name. So if anyone's confused, uh, that's uh, th that's um, where it's at. So uh, Ed has got a probably what about a dozen or so videos now, and uh, some really good videos you got here, Ed. Oh yeah, thank you. No, that's cool. I have man. no idea what I'm doing. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all, all I do is just uh, p point the camera and um, basically turn on, turn it on, and, and talk bullshit, you know. And uh, it seems to work, you know. But yeah, anyway, you got some growing. I like that v uh, Venetian gondola uh, ride. Whereabouts was that? That's uh, close to. I think it's in BGC, Bonifacio Global City. Okay, yeah, I've been through there. That's a real uh, upmarket sort of place, isn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. I think it's only a little bit over 10 years old. That's why it's so nice. Yep, yep. Completely planned development. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it looks super planned, you know. All concrete. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, American base. Oh, okay. Cool. Really? Wow. And uh, how many times have you been to the Philippines? I think this is on my seventh trip in the last three years. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I got, like, hooked on the Philippines almost instantly. Yep. So, trying to plan the move here ever since. I'm guessing it was my second trip is when it really sat in that I wanted to live here. Yep. So, what made you choose? Myself. What made you choose the Philippines? Just the way people are, how they treat you. I yep. mean, of course, I love the weather. It's 86 degrees all year round. Yep. But you could get that in the U.S. if you wanted to go to Vegas or Florida or something. Yep. I think it boils down to the people, you know, just how friendly everyone is, how happy they are, how mm -hmm. they treat you. Yep. You know, they, they love us foreigners, so. Yep, that sure do, yeah. I like your, the interaction with your girlfriend in your videos um, as well. She seems to be pretty upbeat. Yeah, she's a nice girl. I like her. Yep. Thanks. You plan on getting married or um oh no not for me <laughs> <laughs> fair enough no, that's that, that's cool <laughs> but uh you cover it you go to Kazon city you try the balut what's that balut like <laughs> i've had that many times before i've got some filipino friends back in the states so um the street balut here was a bit different mm. i don't know exactly how to how to explain it in the philippines but the filipino balut i had in the u.s tasted like scrambled eggs and chicken okay with pepper. that's right. the best way to explain it yep. it's not bad at all yes what about the filipino balut uh the filipino balut that you had in the philippines yeah i'm thinking it was just a little less you didn't taste the chicken as much yep yeah, I didn't, I didn't show it in the video, but I was almost ready to gag. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I haven't tried it, man. I, I didn't finish it, as you've seen. <laughs> yeah. <yes. laughs> no, I haven't tried it. I'm not going to try it. <laughs> and uh, I see you went to um, uh, Makate, P. Burgos Street. Uh, a few guys have uh, been down there. I, I did some videos down there. Pretty wild place, isn't it? Yeah, I like that place. It's like the uh, walking street of Manila. Yep. 
Yep, it yeah, is. Some good clubs there. It's got some great clubs. I didn't go into any, but they look good on the outside, you know. <laughs> you haven't gone to any? No. I uh, went to a restaurant. I was with uh, Jay, the uh, uh, Black American Expat. He's got the channel uh, called the Black American Expat, and uh, we had a really cool night down there. But we were in a uh, restaurant called Argos. It's just a Greek restaurant, oh. yeah. And um, But I never went into any of the nightclubs. You're not allowed to film, I don't think, in those nightclubs, you know. No, you're not allowed. I pulled the camera out for a second. I'm like, you can't film here. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't filming anything. <laughs> <laughs> and um, look how uh, cheap it is. I used to go to a different club and you had to pay, uh, I guess at least twelve k a month a night is what it averaged out to. Wow. When I went to Burgos, I had two people with me, and for all three of us, it cost about sixty dollars for the whole night of us all three drinking. Bloody hell. Is that good or bad? Uh, definitely good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's 20 bucks each. That's 20 bucks each, isn't it? Yeah. And... That was the whole night. Wow. Wow. So what's what's your um what's your goal for this channel, Ed? Well, I wanted to do YouTube for years. Mm -hmm. and I got caught up in what am I going to do, how am I going to do it, and then I got into the whole, is it going to make money, this and that. Uh, I talked to Be Adventurous, and he said, don't do it for the money, there's no money in it. Yep. And I watched a couple of videos, and it just made me think, I wanted to do it for years, just do it. So right now, it's just a hobby. A hobby, yep, yep. Same yeah, here. If it makes something, that's great, but yep. I'm doing it for a hobby, just for fun. Friends can see what's going on in the Philippines, stuff like that. Great. So that was that was your motivation to start it, was it? it? Was to show your friends and all that sort of stuff back back home and all that? Yeah, pretty much. Just, just something I wanted to do. Yep. Instead of overthinking everything, I just decided to grab the camera and just do it. Yep. Yeah, it's important to have a ho hobby of some sort or some sort of passion when you're in the Philippines. Oh, yeah, you'll go nuts here with nothing to do. It's just me and my son here, so... Yep, right. <laughs> no car, nothing like that, so we're pretty much stuck in the condo a lot. Yep, understood, yep. Yeah, you don't want to... Uh, yeah, otherwise, a lot of these guys turn into drunks because they've got nothing to do, you know. So having a passion is good, yeah. Fortunately for me, or unfortunately, I'm not in an area that really has anywhere to go drink too much. No, that, you're in a very upmarket area there. Yeah, I gotta take a cab to go somewhere. Yep, yep, yep. Or an Uber. <laughs> Alright, fantastic, Ed. Well, um, I suggest all you guys uh, check out uh, Ed's uh, channel. Uh, he goes under the, his uh, middle name, uh, Joseph. And, um, yeah, just I'll leave a link in the uh, um, comment section. And, uh, Ed, thank you very much, mate. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Hey, thank you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, cool, man. We'll have to have a, a Sam Mig uh, when I get back over there. Sounds good to me. Cool, cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Okay, ciao. Later.